you guys are. Welcome to Rutherford, New Jersey. I have a lot of interesting stuff to talk to you about school. Anyway, I want to show you where I am. I'm in Rutherford, New Jersey. It's a very cute town. And we are going to get on a train here sometime soon. And we're going to take you on an adventure for the next two weeks. So with class, I wanted to tell you a few things. We're going to have a total revamp of our site this weekend. So when you jump back on it on Monday, it's going to be completely different. It's all going to be angled about the humanitarian side. So I've got a little list of things here that I want to cover with you guys. Um, number one, I'm going to post up a press release in the classroom for you so we can start to promote activity to help you with your humanitarian efforts that you have posted up online. So basically we're going to do a call out to the community and see if people in Boise will come help you on your project. So I'll post up the press release in the classroom. Feel free to send it off to anybody that you want to. You can send it off to your grandparents. If you find somebody in the media or you know somebody in the media, send it off to them. Uh, if you want to start searching around, this isn't a public relations class, so I haven't taught you how to submit press releases, but if you do send it to the media, make sure that you look online and see where they take press releases. Uh, don't just send it off to anybody because it might annoy somebody so if you're gonna send it to the newspaper you're gonna send it to a radio station or some something that you like make sure that you're sending the press release to a place where it's supposed to go you can uh, do whatever you want to with the press you don't have to do anything with the press release but we're just looking at trying to get as many people to help you guys on these projects that you have posted into this classroom again we're in beta test so you're doing some very exciting things uh, what I want you to do is also rent some cameras it, it, you can get them down at BSU in the I can't remember what the name of the place is but it's in or the admin building is the, the copy place where you wherever you pay to copy things and print the computer lab that's what it's called so they rent out cameras just like this they're super easy to use basically you just turn it on record and then turn it off and stick it into your computer this right here the ISP port you just stick it in upload it and you can put it onto YouTube and you can set the humanitarian projects up so what I want you to do is look at the humanitarian projects that you've posted and go record something about that and put it up onto Yomo World so we can see what's going on with that site and what the need is so we can help those people. What we're going to do, I've got Ben here with me, he's taping, we're going to go... <laughs> Isn't he attractive? We're going to go jump on a train and we're going to peruse the whole entire East Coast and we're going to find a bunch of nonprofits, people that need help and we're going to show you what we would post in there. You don't have to have any editing abilities. We're not going to edit anything that we do because we don't know how to either. So simply go get yourself a camera, start taping and post it up so other people can see the need. I'm going to be in a different city almost every single day for the next two weeks just for you guys. So we are going to go help you and, and show you what we would do if we were in your shoes. Uh, anything else that I've got on here? Um, I think I think we've got that. All right. Last thing, school stuff. Uh, somebody posted a question about what do you do with the management team? So you're building these business proposals and just when, when you're creating it while your team is, is creating the business proposal, just remember that the steps, the 16 steps, those steps, you're, you're, you're submitting a plan that would go to a venture capitalist that would give you money to start your business idea. That, so it's very detailed. One of the questions was, what do you do with this management team? Well, the management team is a little bit different than what you would think if you went to work, where you would say, okay, those are the managers in my company. That is not what a management team is on your business proposal. A management team are basically the five or six key people that have really strong backgrounds or qualities that if a venture capitalist looked at your company and said, we're willing to back this concept, but we want to know that some really smart people and some strong people know how to run a company. So that is what the management team is when you look at a, at a proposal that would go to a venture capitalist. So you may not have that background, and you may not be submitting this proposal to a venture capitalist. You probably aren't, but I'm just getting you prepared for that. So you can put your own names on there if you want to, or look at the mentors that we worked on in a couple of weeks ago. Look at the mentors and stick their names on there just for purposes to show what a management team looks like. So, so find the 
four to six really solid people that you can think of off of your team. And if you want to even use fictitious people that you haven't interviewed, you can put them on there. Just don't don't do it without asking them because you don't want to. Um, you don't want to steal people's names and credentials. So if you're going to do anything with your proposal, make sure that you let them know that they are on the management team and that's a whole different thing. But you can put it on there and say, you know, this is just for purposes of this class and not use it. So with that being said, I'm excited to see you guys. This is the first time that I've seen you online. No, this is the first time you've seen me online. I'm sorry, that's a little backwards. And I will be very productive for the next month before we close out. Let's get this thing going. Let's really work hard on these humanitarian projects to make a difference difference in a lot of people's lives in Boise, Idaho, because you are the beta test, you are the strong group, you're the team leaders, you're going to make this work. Also, in the classroom, post up if you think anything needs to be changed when you see the revamp come in in the next couple of days. If you have any ideas, feel free to stick it in there and let us know so we can go change it for you. Alrighty guys, I will see you later and have a great weekend.